Dennis Keith Rodman was born in Trenton, New Jersey when Shirley and Philander Rodman welcomed a bouncing baby boy on May 31, 1961. When he was young, his father abandoned the family and moved to the Philippines. Dennis would not see him again until more than 30 years later. He has two sisters, Deborah and Kim, who were all American basketball players as well. Rodman was nicknamed the worm by his mom, who said he would wiggle a lot when playing pinball. Though there were always a great deal of extracurriculars, even during Rodman's career, he still left his mark on the game as one of the greatest interior defenders in NBA history and notorious for rebounding and shot-blocking ability. Dennis is a seven-time All-Defensive First Team selection and two-time Defensive Player of the Year. He has five championship rings, two with the Pistons and three with the Chicago Bulls. Even beyond his Hall of Fame resume on the basketball court, Dennis Rodman's outsized lifestyle and persona still makes him one of the most polarizing icons in the entire world. And if you couple that with the fact that he went from being MJ's arch rival to being his teammate in the later part of his career, it's almost like fame and controversy were always destined for Rodman. Embracing a different identity, like really different. If there's one thing certain about Rodman's largely unprecedented and naturally mercurial nature, it's that he's unafraid of going outside the box and expressing himself openly in front of any audience. The early 90s came with a huge change for Rodman. According to his book, Rodman for Better or Worse, he started falling out of line with playing the game and even said he had depression, which was mostly because he found the business side of being a professional athlete was taxing and that he found his family ties had distanced since he entered the league. And then there was that infamous episode in the Pistons parking lot. Rodman was having suicidal thoughts and locked himself in the car with a shotgun. He ended up falling asleep with the gun on his lap and when he woke up there were police cars surrounding the car with guns drawn. He was eventually traded to the Spurs. In San Antonio, he started going to gay and drag clubs. He was connected to the LGBTQ community and it made him feel more free and complete. And that's when Rodman's character slowly but surely began its transformation to becoming more like what he is today and how we remember him in the NBA. He started his own trend of, let's just say interesting hairstyles with his blonde hair, then green hair, and then red hair, and even hair with an assortment of colors and unusually executed styles. But hey, it worked for him and it earned him a new reputation which helped him continue his career and make the most he could out of it in his late seasons in the NBA. And he did just that when he landed in Chicago and on time for what was an ongoing Bulls dynasty. Talk about flamboyant. Income streams. In total salary, the worm made roughly 30 million in his NBA career. And as an A-list celebrity and author of five books over the past 30 years, including his title, Bad As I Wanna Be, which was a featured New York Times bestseller. He was part of Hulk Hogan's New World Order and won the inaugural Celebrity Championship Wrestling Tournament in his short stint as a professional wrestler. Which, by the way, so accurately fits his character. And that's not to mention his role in a handful of movies and even trying to become a rapper. He also appeared in Celebrity Big Brother. The Celebrity Apprentice, Love Island, and even ABC's Celebrity Mole, where he actually came out on top as a winner. A rapper, a movie star, reality star, a best-selling author. Why am I telling you this? Because he went from all of that to not much of anything when reports came out saying that he was going through some financial hardship in the early 2010s, and especially when he was tagged with a child support lawsuit of $800,000. But when The Last Dance documentary aired in 2020, not only did we get a closer look at his party lifestyle and his habits off the court, but we also know that the globally viewed documentary series helped revive some of his financial state. So with that, Dennis Rodman has a net worth of... Hold up and wait a minute. We'll get to that. Now let's see how Rodman spends that cheddar. Cars. Although being a star in the 80s and 90s didn't pay players the amounts that they're earning today, it didn't stop Rodman from creating his own collection of cars that, well, are a perfect reflection of the type of guy he really is. Rodman has a Lamborghini Huracan and Gallardo, Bentley Continental Black, a Ford Mustang Convertible, and a custom-painted Hummer H1. This one, uh, stands out. These rides pop out just like his iconic hairstyles. 
House. Robin lives just outside of Detroit in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. The house has five bedrooms with three and a half bathrooms and over 6,600 square feet of space. This beautiful Michigan home has views of the lake, a pool, outdoor patio, home gym, tennis court, and more. Additionally, the home has a partially finished basement, three parking spaces, as well as a fireplace. The house is worth approximately 2.3 million. What a beauty! North Korea. Rodman became the unlikeliest of diplomats probably in history when he befriended North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Dennis has made multiple trips to the country and the two have bonded over basketball. He was part of some exhibition games and even sang happy birthday to the leader in front of a packed house. He even joined then-President Trump in a historic Singapore summit where the two leaders met to discuss political issues. There was an American Christian missionary prisoner named Kenneth Bay who was accused of trying to cross the border and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor in North Korea. Dennis publicly asked for his release and it was eventually granted. Rodman considers Kim Jong-un a friend and says Un trusts him. Amazing to believe that Dennis Crazy Guy Rodman has helped ease tensions between the U.S. and North Korea. Dennis, you probably deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. Family and Relationships My dad doesn't play a big role in my life at all, and most people don't know that. We don't see eye to eye on many things. I go for months, if not years, without his presence or communication. Being in the spotlights has made it hard for us, him, and me. The words of Rodman's youngest daughter Trinity, who perhaps isn't too interested in the huge aura that surrounds her dad's lifestyle, and rightfully so. Rodman's son DJ, along with Trinity, are the kids that he had with Michelle Moyer, who he's since divorced. Rodman's oldest, Alexis, was born in the 80s to Rodman and his first wife, Annie Bakes. And their relationship only lasted a year before his first divorce. And then Rodman was with Carmen Electra towards the late 90s. And then Moyer, who he was with for nine years, before a third divorce. Oh, and his seemingly spurious but almost legitimate relationship he had with Madonna for a short period, which Rodman described as this. I think Madonna saw me as a kid in a candy store. I was trying to find my way, but she already had done it. She saw this young kid. I was like maybe 30, 31. I was just coming out of the box. I was coming out of the shell. And I was coming out of the closet, pretty much. I think she saw a guy like, wow, he's somewhat attractive, has a nice body. And besides all this, I think she saw me coming out and being free. And I think that was more attractive to her than anything else. And there was that one time that Dennis actually claimed to have married himself. He was doing a book tour, came out as bisexual, and even wore an unforgettable custom bridal gown. Talk about a crazy life for Mr. Rodman. Net worth. Party lifestyle, letting go of money here and there, living life on a limb. I guess his net worth may or may not come as a surprise. With everything going on in his life, Dennis Rodman has a net worth of $500,000. With tennis, you never know what you're going to get. 